who is the person who is most deserving or the people who are most deserving of your forgiveness? Who do you think they are? Who do you think they are? Your family members and those who are the closest in relation to you. They are the ones who deserve your forgiveness first. They were placed close to you to test you. That's all. Allah chose them as your relatives. Today, your husband does one mistake. The marriage is over. Forget about everything else. Your car has a small dent. The car is gone. It's not a write-off. That's not what you do. You send it to the panel beaters. You repair the car. You bring it back. The old faithful, you know. Your wife made one mistake. What happened? Divorce. What was the reason? Ah, there are 20,000 other girls running behind me. That's not the right way of doing things. They are probably running behind your money. The minute the rupiah drops, they also drop. Possible. May Allah forgive us. You need to work on the relationships you have. Someone commits a mistake, forgive them. T today's advice to married people is when the spouse makes a mistake, leave him, go away, divorce, file for divorce. What happened? Oh, something minor, something major. So what? But as a believing female, a believing male, when your spouse has done something wrong, you need to sit and seek Allah's forgiveness to begin with. Both of you. Ask Allah's forgiveness. When He forgives you and your slate is clean, you will be able to think properly. When you yourself have committed so many sins and you are not with a clean slate between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how do you expect to think in the correct manner? Can you? The answer is no, you cannot. So if you seek Allah's forgiveness to start off with, before you even retaliate and respond, you will be guided by Allah. Calm down. It's a very big matter. Calm down. And then see what they are saying. If they show a speck of remorse, you need to extend your hand, the hand of mercy. Yes, if there's no remorse whatsoever, you might want to deal with it differently. But if there is a speck of remorse, who from amongst us does not make mistakes? If that was the case, every one of us, without exception, would be divorced. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. So save your marriage. Help your children by forgiving your spouse.